Hello and welcome to Triangle Congruence. Uh, please copy this list of five ways on the top right hand of your paper um, that we can prove triangles are congruent. The first one, SSS, stands for side, side, side. The second one, ASA, stands for angle, side, angle. The third one, HL, stands for hypotenuse leg. The fourth one, angle, angle, side, uh, AAS. And then the last one, SAS, stands for side, angle, side. Let's take a look at the first example. In this first example, we have this side being congruent to this side. Notice those tick marks that we have. We also have an angle congruent to an angle. That would be these angles. And then we have yet another side congruent to the other side in the other triangle. In this case, we are going to follow this in order, and we are going to do side, angle, side. So in this case, for the first one, the correct answer would be side, angle, side. The next one, if you take a look, a careful look, we have three different sides that are congruent to three different sides in another triangle. So in essence, we're going to use side, side, side for this one. For the next one, we are going to use um, number three. We have this angle congruent with this angle. We have this side congruent with this side. And then we have yet another angle congruent with another angle. So if you think about it, it goes angle, side, angle in both triangles. So we are definitely going to use the angle, side, angle. In the next one, number four, if you look carefully, we have an angle, and then we have another angle, and the last piece we have is a side. You must go in order, so if you started here and you went in order, in this case clockwise, or in this case counterclockwise, you would have angle, angle, side. So in that case, I'm going to choose AAS. And then the last example, um, is only when we have right triangles, um, and of, clear, of course clearly we do, we have the hypotenuse is congruent to the hypotenuse, and the leg is congruent to the leg, so we're going to use hype leg in that case. So these are the five different ways that we can prove triangles are congruent. Um, once again, they are side angle side, side side side, angle side angle, angle angle side, and hype leg. Now, on to the next page. I need you to write these two definitions down, please. On the next page, following, when you are missing sides or angles, like you are short information, you should either look for the reflexive property um, or vertical angles. So the reflexive property tells us that any side or angle is congruent to itself. I'll show you an example of that in one second. And the way that we mark that is with an X. And then the vertical angles are congruent. You guys already know how to do that, but angles that are across from each other are vertical, so we're going to use vertical angles are congruent. Please make sure you copy that down. And then we're going to take a look at the next page. So on the next page, if I was to look at this, it says determine which way to use to prove that these sides or triangles are congruent. So the thing that they've marked for us already is that this side is congruent to this side, and that this side is congruent to that side. Now, when I think about my choices, side, 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 angle, side, angle, side, angle, 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 side, or hype leg, I have to pick one of those based on the fact that the information is given. Now, I know that it's not hype leg because there's no right triangles. I happen to know that in this case, it appears as though I'm short information. So what we do is we look for something that's called reflexive. And in this case, this middle piece of the figure is reflexive because it's congruent to itself. Now, upon further investigation, I do not have any angles. So it's not going to be angle, angle, side, or angle, side, angle, or even side, angle, side, for that matter. So I'm definitely going to use Side, side, side for this first one. Okay, now let's take a look at the next example. In this case, it appears as though we do have a right angle right here, so we know that we have right triangles. These are both legs of the right triangle, and these are both hypotenuses of the right triangle. So when my choices are side, 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 angle, side, angle, side, angle, 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 side, or hype leg, it becomes clear and evident that the only one that's good in this case is hype leg. 
So I'm going to use hype lag for number two. The next one, we do have a right triangle. So we have right triangles with right angles. And we do have the hypotenuses, but we have nothing to tell us that the legs are congruent. So this is an example of when you're short, you should look for something. The reflexive piece is a piece that's in both triangles, which we do not have. But we do have vertical angles here. These two angles right there are vertical with each other. They're across from each other. They share a common vertex. And if I looked again, in this case, I would have this angle, this angle, and that side. Um, coming from the top triangle, I'd have this angle, this angle, and that side. So the correct answer is angle, angle, side for this one. Let's take a look at the next page. Here, in this example, it appears as though we have two angles and we have the side in between them. So this is an angle. This is the side in between, and then another angle. The side in between and another angle. So in this case, I'm going to use angle, side, angle. And then in number five, it appears as though we're short some information. We do have two sides already, um, so I'm thinking it's either going to be side, 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 or side, angle, side. It's probably not going to be angle, angle, side, because I have two sides already. It's probably not going to be hype leg because I don't have a right triangle. And it's probably not going to be angle side angle because I have two sides and I don't have any angles as of yet. When I'm short, I look for reflexive, which is the piece that's in both triangles, which I don't have, or vertical angles. And I do have vertical angles right here. Those two angles that are across from each other, so they must be equal. And upon further investigation, I have a side, an angle, and a side. So I'm going to use sides, angle side for this one. Okay. Now, on all of these, your choices are either side, 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 angle, side, angle, side, angle, 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 side, or hype leg. When I look at this next picture, I already have two sides that are congruent to two other sides. I appear to be short, but I could use the reflexive piece so that these pieces are congruent to themselves, and now, all of a sudden, I have side, side, side. So it becomes rather evident which one of the five triangle congruences that you're going to use when you're trying to prove triangles are congruent. Let's take a look at the next page. Okay, so number seven. It appears as though we have an angle, an angle, and a side. And in this triangle, we have an angle, an angle, and a side as well. So I'm going to use angle, angle, side. This piece, someone came along and used the reflexive for me already to show that those two sides were congruent. And then the last example, number eight. It appears as though we have a side, an angle, and a side. And the same thing on the bottom triangle. So we're going to use side, angle, side there as well. So try to remember that um, you have five choices, and you have to choose one of those five. Now what I'd like you to do is turn to the next page, and I would like you to try these um, six questions on your own. Try to determine if there's enough information to prove that they're congruent, again, using one of the five methods for congruence. And some of them may not have enough information to prove that they're congruent. Thanks, and I'll see you tomorrow.